Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Last week I told you about a new blood test capable of detecting whether or not an adult patient suffered from depression. This week I begin with the story of another new blood test that could allow doctors to determine whether or not a patient is at risk of psychosis. The blood test, designed by researchers at the University of North Carolina and evaluated in a study published in the journal Schizophrenia Bulletin, checks for hormonal imbalances and signs of oxidative stress. The researchers say the test could not only aid in the diagnosis and treatment of psychotic disorders, but improve our fundamental understanding of them as well. The term psychosis is used generally to describe a state of mind where the patient loses touch with reality. Psychotic symptoms range from catatonia to hallucinations and delusions to impulsive violence. The most familiar disorder associated with psychosis is schizophrenia, which affects one out of every 100 people. Next up, astronomers have discovered complex organic molecules in a distant interstellar molecular cloud. The cloud is Sagittarius B2, a giant molecular cloud about 27,000 light years away near the center of our galaxy. It's a popular subject for astronomers looking for interstellar molecules. Organic molecules have been found in space before, but this time astronomers studying Sagittarius B2 with the radio telescopes of the ALMA Observatory have found evidence of two molecules never before detected in space, larger and more complex than any ever detected in a molecular cloud. The two molecules are isopropyl cyanide and normal propyl cyanide. Not only are they the largest organic molecules ever detected in interstellar space, their structures are similar to those of amino acids and other complex molecules necessary for life. The discovery of such molecules in a molecular cloud might suggest that the building blocks of life as we know it are produced much earlier in the stellar formation process than we thought, perhaps even before the formation of planets. It might be that life or at least its basic components, has not an extraterrestrial origin, but a pre-terrestrial origin. And finally, researchers in Switzerland are developing an inexpensive and efficient method of harvesting hydrogen fuel from water and sunlight. Currently, the most efficient methods for harvesting hydrogen rely on rare earth metals, such as platinum, which can be expensive. This new method, being developed by a team at Switzerland's EPFL, uses a common mineral called perovskite. The EPFL researchers have built a device capable of splitting water molecules into their constituent hydrogen and oxygen atoms. The hydrogen can then be captured and stored for future use. This new device is able to convert 12.3% of the energy it receives from the sun into hydrogen which is the highest efficiency yet attained for a device using Earth-abundant rather than rare Earth elements. It's the subject of a new study published in the journal Science. A blood test could help to diagnose psychosis. The most complex organic molecules yet are discovered in an interstellar molecular cloud, and researchers are working on a cheaper, more efficient method of using sunlight to harvest hydrogen. That's the good news. Yes, I know, yes. It is. You like to harvest sunlight yourself, don't you? Yes, you do.